Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program must accept three rows of the keyboard and a string S yes, and print the row in which the most number of alphabet types continuously typed continuously. If two or more rows occurs, then those rows must be printed in their order of occurrence. If there is no such row, then we have to print minus 1. Now let us consider for our test case. So the first three line represents the keyboard and this is the string S. Yes. So in this string skill rack, many combinations can be formed. For example, SK, comma, IL, comma, LL, comma, RA, comma, CK. Like this many combinations can be formed in this string. So, now you have to check which combination occurs in a row. So, S and K. First, let us take S and K. So, these two S and K occurs in the second row of the keyboard. Whereas, I and L, I occurs in the first row and L occurs in the second row. So, it is not possible. And L, L. So, L, L occurs in the same row. That is the second row of the keyboard. R, A which is not possible because R is in the first row and A is in the second row of the keyboard CK it is also not possible because C is in the last row and K is in the second row so now we have to print the row having continuous letters that is second row so the output will be SK, LL and second row SK and LL so the count of it is 2 so the output will be second row of the keyboard so this will be printed as our output now let us consider for our second test case in this test case uh, the string S yes is motion so first let us have some combinations M, O so it is not possible O T and T I O N T I so T and I which occurs in the first row of the keyboard so this will be printed as our output now let us consider for our last test case so the string S yes is I is here so the combinations are I C and E that is have it as CE so both are not possible because they are occurring in different rows for this test case minus 1 will be printed as our output so if there is no such row means we have to print minus 1 now let us implement our logic using python 3 First we are getting the keys as input from the user and we are getting the string S yes as input. Then we are assigning the key index, index, count, previous max count as empty list, get row of S of 0 function, count value to 1 and previous max count to 1. This get row of S of 0, this function, this function uh, checks the character and it will return in which row it is present so this is the getter function 
so here we are using for loop for loop which ranges from ctr1 to ctr of uh, len of s so in that we are passing the condition if get row of s of ctr is equal to equal to get row of s of ctr minus 1 means we are just uh, changing the values index as get row of s of ctr and we are incrementing the count value so count value is incremented by 1 and in the else part we are having two conditions here if and elif so if count is greater than previous max count means initially count is assigned as 1 here so we have to append index to the key index and previous max count will be changed to count elif previous max count equal to equal to count and count is greater than 1 so initially count is 1 here if count is greater than 1 means we have to append index to the key index and previous max count is equal to count and count and index value are changed as 1 and get row of s of ctr after the conditions so here we are having another condition if len of s that is string is greater than 1 and get row of s of minus 1 which is the last element equal to equal to get row of s of minus 2 which is nothing but the last previous element if both are same means here also we are passing the same conditions as previous so if count is greater than previous max count index will be appended to key index and in the last condition if key index true means key index is equal to sorted of set of key index for index in key index we are just printing the keys else we have to print minus one 